Have you ever wondered how a mere 300 Spartans could stand against an army of thousands? Immerse yourself in a story that dates back to the hot summer of 480 BC. A tale woven around the rugged terrains of Thermopylae, a place where the fate of two mighty civilizations, Sparta and Persia, clashed head-on. At the heart of this epic conflict were two formidable leaders. On one side, we had King Leonidas of Sparta, a man of indomitable courage, leading a small battalion of Spartans. On the other, King Xerxes of Persia, commanding a vast, intimidating army, ready to expand his empire. The odds were overwhelmingly against the Spartans. Yet they chose not to retreat, not to surrender, but to face the impending doom with an unwavering resolve, a resolve that would etch their names permanently into the annals of history. So how did such a small force hold off a massive invasion? Let's delve into history. The year was 480 BC. Persia, a mighty empire, had its eyes set on Greece. In this era, Persia was a colossal force, an empire stretching from India to Egypt commanded by the indomitable King Xerxes. His ambition was boundless, his gaze locked onto Greece, a relatively small collection of city-states, each with its own unique culture and government. Among these, Sparta stood out as a military powerhouse, led by the fearless King Leonidas. The political climate was fraught with tension. Persia, having subdued many civilizations, sought further expansion. Greece on the other hand prized its independence and was unwilling to bow to Persian rule. The stage was set for a clash of wills, a test of strength and ultimately a battle for survival. Now let's turn our attention to the strategic significance of Thermopylae. This narrow passage known as the Hot Gates, lay between Mount Caladromo and the Malian Gulf. It was a natural choke point, a place where a small force could hold off a much larger one. Thermopylae was the gateway to central Greece, a path that if seized, could provide Persia with a straight route to the heart of Greece. Yet it wasn't just the geography that made Thermopylae significant. It was also a matter of timing. The battle coincided with the Olympic Games, a time when warfare was traditionally suspended. This left many Greek city-states unprepared for battle, their warriors participating in the games. But Sparta, ever the defiant, chose to stand and fight. They understood that Thermopylae was more than just a passage. It was a symbol of their resolve to resist, a statement of their courage, and a testament to their commitment to their homeland. In the face of overwhelming odds, they chose to hold the line, to protect their land and their people. They knew the risks, they knew the cost, but they also knew that surrender was not an option. Thermopylae, a narrow coastal passage became the stage of one of history's most iconic clashes. Under the scorching August sun, the Persian army advanced, only to be met by a Spartan wall. The Battle of Thermopylae had begun, a historic clash of two powerful civilizations. The Spartans, under the leadership of King Leonidas, had strategically positioned themselves at the narrow pass of Thermopylae, a choke point that would limit the Persians' numerical advantage. The terrain was a silent ally to the Spartans, the mountains to their right and the sea to their left, effectively funneling the Persian forces into a narrow front, where they could be met head-on by the Spartan shield wall. The Persian king Xerxes, confident in his overwhelming numbers, ordered wave after wave of his soldiers to break the Spartan lines. But the Spartans, masters of the phalanx formation, stood resolute, their shields interlocked, their spears pointed forward, they formed an impenetrable wall of bronze and iron. Persian arrows fell like rain, but they simply bounced off the Spartan shields, offering little more than a nuisance to the disciplined warriors. The Persian infantry charged, their swords and spears clashing against the Spartan shields. Yet the Spartans held firm. Each Spartan was a cog in a larger machine, moving in perfect unison, their shields absorbing the Persian onslaught, their spears finding gaps in the enemy armor. It was a dance of death, choreographed to the rhythm of clashing metal and the cries of fallen warriors. The Persians, despite their numerical superiority, struggled to make any headway. Their traditional battle tactics were ineffective against the Spartan phalanx, their charges repeatedly broken upon the Spartan shield wall. The narrow pass of Thermopylae proved to be a double-edged sword, as their numbers became a disadvantage, their movements restricted, their formations disarrayed. As the day drew to a close, the Persian king Xerxes looked upon the battlefield with growing frustration. His army, the largest the world had ever seen, had been held at bay by a handful of Spartans. Despite their numbers, the Persians found themselves unable to break the Spartan shield wall. But even the bravest warriors cannot fight the elements and treachery. The Battle of Thermopylae, remembered for the courageous stand of the Spartans, 
took an unfortunate turn due to an unforeseen betrayal. The Spartans, a force to be reckoned with, were holding their own against the mighty Persian army. Their strategic position at the narrow pass of Thermopylae, coupled with their fierce fighting spirit, had kept the formidable Persian forces at bay. The battle seemed to be in favor of the Spartans, but the fickle hand of fate was about to change the course of this legendary conflict. Enter Ephialtes of Trachis, a local resident and familiar with the terrain. Ephialtes, driven by personal motives and a desire for Persian favor, betrayed his fellow Greeks. He showed the Persian king Xerxes a mountain path that led behind the Spartan lines. This was a path the Spartans were unaware of, a path that would spell doom for their brave stand. The Persians, seizing this golden opportunity, sent their troops through the mountain path. This move caught the Spartans off guard, and they found themselves surrounded, their strategic advantage upended. The tide of battle had turned dramatically and not in favor of the Spartans. Seeing their position compromised, King Leonidas, the Spartan king, ordered a retreat. The Spartan forces pulled back to a small hill within the pass. This hill, later known as the Hill of the Last Stand, would serve as the backdrop for the final act of Spartan resistance. Cornered by the Persians and significantly outnumbered, the Spartans found themselves in a dire situation. But the spirit of Sparta was not easily broken. The Spartans prepared for what they knew would be their last stand. They were ready to fight, ready to make their final stand against the Persian onslaught. Cornered and outnumbered, the Spartans prepared for their last stand. The Battle of Thermopylae was about to reach its climax, a climax that would etch the Spartans' bravery and sacrifice into the annals of history. On the third day of battle, the end was near for the Spartans. The morning sun cast an ominous glow over the battlefield as the Spartans prepared for their final stand. Overmatched, outnumbered and outmaneuvered, they knew their fate was sealed. Yet, they held their heads high, their spirits unbroken. King Leonidas, the Spartan monarch, stood at the front lines, his eyes reflecting the fires of determination. He knew the odds were against him, but he wasn't fighting for victory anymore. He was fighting for honor, for freedom, and for the future of Greece. As the Persian forces advanced, Leonidas met them head-on, his spear cutting through the enemy lines like a hot knife through butter, but there were too many. Eventually he fell joining his fallen comrades. The death of Leonidas marked a turning point. The Spartans fueled by anger and grief fought with even more ferocity. Their shields clashed with the Persian swords, their cries echoing through the mountains. They held their ground refusing to retreat, refusing to surrender. Each Spartan warrior fought like a lion, knowing they were making a last stand not for themselves, but for the ideals they held dear. Despite their best efforts, the Spartans were finally overwhelmed. The battlefield was a sea of bodies, the once green fields stained red with blood. The Persian king Xerxes had won the day, but at a cost. His army had been decimated, his warriors had tasted the bitter pill of heavy casualties, all for a narrow strip of land. The aftermath of the Battle of Thermopylae was a somber one. The Persian victory was hollow, their losses far outweighing their gains. The Greeks, though defeated, had bought themselves precious time. They had shown the Persians and the world the power of unity, courage, and sacrifice. The Spartan sacrifice stirred the hearts of the remaining Greek city-states. United in their grief and their anger, they rallied together, their resolve stronger than ever. They vowed to avenge their fallen brothers, to defend their homeland from the Persian invaders. And defend they did. The following battles of Salamis and Plataea saw the Greeks triumph over the Persians, turning the tide of the war in their favor. The Battle of Thermopylae was more than just a military confrontation, it was a clash of ideologies, a testament to the indomitable spirit of freedom. The Spartans may have lost the battle, but they won the war, their sacrifice becoming a beacon of hope, a symbol of resistance against oppression. The Battle of Thermopylae ended in a Persian victory, but the Spartan sacrifice was not in vain. Their bravery, their valor, their unwavering dedication to their homeland inspired the Greeks to rise, to fight, to win. The Spartans may have fallen, but their legacy lived on, echoing through the ages, a reminder of the cost of freedom and the price of victory. The Battle of Thermopylae has echoed through the ages, but why? Well, the answer takes us back to the very essence of human spirit and resilience. This battle was not just about a physical conflict, but a clash of cultures and ideologies. The Greeks, under the leadership of King Leonidas of Sparta, were defending not just their land, but their way of life their freedom, their democracy. The Battle of Thermopylae, 
despite ending in a military defeat for the Greeks, had a profound impact on the Persian Wars. It delayed the Persian advance, giving the Greek city-states time to prepare for the Persian onslaught. It was a strategic victory that played a pivotal role in the eventual Greek success. The war was a turning point in history, shaping the course of Western civilization and paving the way for the era of Greek dominance. But the legacy of Thermopylae extends beyond the annals of history and military strategy. It has seeped into our collective consciousness, our literature, our art, and our popular culture. The story of the 300 Spartans who held their ground against an army of thousands has been told and retold, passed down through generations, immortalized in stone and on screen. It's a story that resonates because it speaks to something fundamental about the human condition. The ability to stand up against overwhelming odds, to fight for what we believe in, to make the ultimate sacrifice for the greater good. From the ancient historian Herodotus, who first chronicled the battle, to the modern cinematic depiction in the film 300, the Battle of Thermopylae continues to inspire to captivate to remind us of the indomitable spirit of humanity. The Spartans may have lost the battle but they won the war of memory. Their story has become a symbol, a metaphor, a beacon. It serves as a testament to courage, to resilience, to the power of unity in the face of adversity. Despite their defeat, the Spartans at Thermopylae have become a symbol of courage and resistance against overwhelming odds. So what can we learn from the Battle of Thermopylae? This legendary encounter between Sparta and the Kingdom of Persia serves as a poignant reminder of the incredible power of bravery and sacrifice. It shows us that even when outnumbered and outmatched, courage and strategy can hold the line against seemingly insurmountable odds. The Spartans, though ultimately defeated, demonstrated an indomitable spirit that has resonated through the ages. The Battle of Thermopylae also holds an important place in the broader context of history. It symbolizes the struggle between the many and the few, the powerful and the resolute. It prompts us to question the nature of victory and defeat, and the values we attribute to each. In the grand tapestry of human history, the Battle of Thermopylae stands out as a testament to the human capacity for resilience and defiance in the face of overwhelming adversity. In the end, the Battle of Thermopylae reminds us that sometimes victory can be found in defiance, and that the brave few can indeed make a difference.